Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello everybody. I hope everybody is doing great. Yes, so welcome to an amazing session children where we are just going to learn a scratch art. But children, did you all watch the video? How to submit your work? If you have skipped watching the video, don't worry. I'll play one more time just after the session. Okay, my dear children. So are you all ready for today's class? Ready, buddy? Fantastic. So children, today we are going to do some action song along with Kumil Ma. And then we are going to create a beautiful masterpiece. So come on everybody. Ready for the baby shark song? Ready, buddy? Everybody, come on then. Baby shark to do to do to do baby shark to do to do to do baby shark to do to do to do baby shark Mama shark to do to do to do Mama shark to do to do to do Mama shark to do to do do Mama shark Papa shark to do to do to do Papa shark to do to do do Papa shark to do to do Papa shark Grandma shark to do to do to do grandma shark to do to do to do grandma shark to do to do to grandma shark grandpa shark to do to do to do grandpa shark to do to do to do grandpa shark to do to do to grandpa shark let's go hunt to do to do to let's go hunt to do to do to let's go hunt to do to let's go hunt Run away, to do to do to do run away, to do to do to do run away, to do to do to do run away. Is the ant to do to do to Is the ant to do to do to Is the ant to do to do to Is the ant? Oh my God! Wow, we are so tired, right? Wonderful children, but did you all enjoy the action song? Everybody, did you all enjoy? Baby shark song. Fantastic. So now there's a surprise for you all. So everybody close your eyes. Come on, come on, close your eyes. And peekaboo. Yay. So look at this beautiful baby shark children. After enjoying the action song, along with Komal ma'am, we are going to create this beautiful baby shark masterpiece okay are you all wondering that how this baby shark got beautiful colors and with the black background don't worry Komal ma'am will teach you the technique okay so come on children I want everybody to follow the instructions do it along with me I'm going to shift the camera 
towards the work station. Here we go, children. So, my dear children, for today's scratch art, that is a baby shark scratch art, we will require a four size white sheet. We will require post color, children. Black post color. That means black painting color. Then we will require a painting brush. Children, you can use any size of a painting brush. Okay? Thick, thin, it's up to you. Then you will require a tissue paper. Or you can sit with any rough paper or a cloth. So that if your hands are getting messy, you can clean it. And we will require oil pastel colors. Okay? Children, for this scratch art, we have to use oil pastel colors. It is very, very important that we use oil pastel only. See, Komal ma'am is having options over here. That is wax crayon, sketch pen, oil pastel. But children, we will require oil pastels only for this art. Okay? Understood, Pachas? Oil pastels are really very important for today's art. So, we are going to use oil pastels only. Got it? Shall we begin? Okay. So, come on. Keep your paper in a sleeping position. This is a sleeping position. Okay, my Pachas? Keep it in a sleeping position. And we are going to cover... The whole paper with different, different colors. Understood? We have to just cover the whole paper with different, different colors, different, different spots of oil paste. See, I'm going to take orange color. I will just make few circles. Come on, everybody. It's fun, children. You can choose your favorite color. You can... <coughs> Sorry. You can draw anything, okay? You can just draw different, different spots like this with different, different colors, okay? Come on. Just color it nicely. In short, we have to color the full paper, children, with oil pastels. We are not going to leave any white space, okay? Come on, let's do it along with ma'am. I am just going to color it nicely. I have colored different spots. I have made different spots. So I am going to color it nicely. Come on. Randomly you can just make few spots children. And color it with your oil pastel. You can choose your favorite color also. Okay. You have to choose your favorite color. Come on. I want my dear children to do it along with ma'am. Make sure that you do it nicely. Okay? Fantastic everyone. Everybody has started working. I'm really happy and glad that you all have started working so nicely. Lovely. So we have just made four uh, spots with orange color. Now I'm going to take a green color and I am just going to make another spot. Okay? Come on. Make another spot with this green color. I want everybody to do it nicely. Okay, it's up to you children. However you want, you can do it. Come on. Just color it nicely with light green color. Make sure you don't leave any white space and make it look beautiful. Okay? Very good children. Very good. You all are doing awesome, awesome job. I'm really happy and glad that you all are doing fantastic job. Wonderful. Make sure that you do it nicely. Come on. Over here also, we have to just color the spot with green color. Like this. Color it nicely. With green oil pastel. Yes. Children it's your choice. You can pick up different different colors. We are just going to cover the full paper. With different different spots. Okay. It's a new technique. It's a different technique children. 
where we are just learning to make a beautiful scratch art okay yes see we have colored it with green spot got it very good bachas very good i hope you all are doing amazing job well done well done Yes, so now what are we going to do? Now pick up some other color and again I am just going to make a spot with a blue color. Okay, come on. Pick up another color and color it nicely with blue color. Okay, come on everybody. Just do it nicely. Make a spot with blue color. Understood? Very good, Bachas. Very good. You all are doing amazing job. I am just covering the whole paper with different, different colors. We have to just cover the paper with different shades of oil pastel. But children, it is very important that we color it with oil pastel only. Okay? If you will do it with the wax crayons, then it won't be possible. Okay? So, it's important that for today's class, for scratch art, we use oil pastels only. Okay? Come on. Just cover it nicely. No white space should be seen. Like this. Got it? Fantastic everybody. You all are doing amazing job. Super proud of you all. Now another time. Just make a. Another red spot over here. We can just. Color it nicely. Okay. Like this. Come on. Color it nicely. Everything we have to color it beautifully. Okay. Few red spots also I am going to color. Wherever you feel you want to color that spot. You can color it. Okay. See. I am going to color red over here also. Do it nicely. Like this. Okay. Very good bachas. Very good. I am just going to color red over here like this. Okay. Fantastic everyone. Super duper. You all are doing amazing job. I am really proud of you all. Come on. Just pick up different different colors and just color the whole paper. Okay. See, over here also, I'll just color it with green color, like this, color it nicely, don't make it messy, okay, we have to make sure that we do it nicely, it should not be messy, okay dear children, yeah. Different shades, different colors should be visible. See, I am again coloring this spot with dark green color. My dear children, press the color little and then color it. Okay? You have to press it and then color it nicely. Got it, bachas? Yes. Press and then color. So that... Everything becomes beautiful. No white space should be seen. Very good everybody. You all are doing amazing job. Now I am going to pick up brown color. Yeah. I am going to pick up brown color. And I am going to mix it up. Yes. We can just pick up brown color. And we can mix it up okay like this mix it up nicely yes 
and it's done. We have to add different different shades children and we can just make it look beautiful. See, now what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to add yellow color at few place. Okay. Then I'm going to leave a little space for some other color. Yeah, you can add few other colors also. And over here again, I'm going to use yellow color. Okay. It's up to us children. We can add different shade, different color, whatever we want, we can color it with. Okay. See, now over here, I'm going to fill it up with blue color. Like this. Understood? But we have to make sure that we don't leave any white space. Like this. Okay. Very good. And look at the beautiful picture. It's done. This is what we were supposed to do. No. Don't worry children. This is not the final output. But yeah. Our mojo was to cover the whole picture. So I'm going to wait for my little ones, all my dear children. Come on, just cover the full page, cover the whole page with oil paste. Children, this is not the final result. Still, two more steps are left. We are still going to finish our work. We are going to cover the whole paper with black watercolor. Okay, so don't worry. This is not the final output. Still, we are going to cover the whole paper with black color. Then we are going to allow it to dry. Then we are going to scratch it. And we are going to create a cute little baby shark. Okay. So come on. My dear children, just allow it to, uh, like allow, the, make it beautiful. Just cover it with the oil paste. Then we will take a black color. Come on, my dear children. Be little careful. So now those who have done the coloring, they can get ready with a cup or a bowl of water. Take a thick painting brush and take a black color. Okay children, you can use black color only. Black post color. Why I am asking you to take black color, you know? Because children, it's a dark color and we have not used black over here. Can you all see that? We have not used black color because we are going to give the final coating with a black color. Okay, understood? Very good, my smarty pies. Lovely. So now what are you going to do? Just wait, color it with the oil paste and then we are going to cover it with the black color. Children, I am going to wait for my little ones. Those who are still coloring the paper, don't worry. You can take your time. Do it nicely, cover the full paper with different shades of oil pastels and then just get ready with a bowl full of water and a black color. Okay, see it's very important children that we use black poster color, black water color. Okay, I'm repeating again and again, we will require black poster color. Okay, so see. Now I am just dipping my painting brush in a water and I am going to take a little amount of black color and I am just going to cover the full page with black color. Okay? Come on. Cover the full page with black color. Come on. You have to cover the full page with black color. Come on everybody. Cover it nicely. You have to make sure that you cover the full page with black color. Whenever we color, we have to color it in one direction. Okay my dear children? Yeah. No white space should be seen. We have to cover it in one direction. 
yes like this come on color it in one direction see like this you can hold it with your finger use your left hand to hold your paper and then cover oops be very careful okay yeah the coating should be not too thick not too thin children okay but cover it nicely with the black color come on everybody no space should be seen the whole paper should be black in color come on take a little amount of water just apply the coat of black color on your sheet nicely we have to apply the black color nicely okay like this see apply it nicely no space should be seen we have to cover the full page with black color understood yes see no space is seen no colorful space is seen right very good you have to just give a final stroke in one direction understood bachas just do it in one direction come on everybody i don't want you all to just scribble or to do it messy just give sleeping strokes like this see cover it and we will allow it to dry for some time okay i hope everybody is coloring it nicely with the black color with the black paint so now take some time and allow it to dry come on my dear children we have to allow it to dry okay come on you can even take a tissue paper and you can just clean your hands if they are getting messy you can clean your hands understood very good bachas very good you all are doing fabulous job i am really proud of you all well done children well done so what are we going to do just cover the paper with the black coat you have to just give the coating you have to color the whole paper with black color okay keep it under the fan or you can just allow it to dry for some time i'm going to wait for my little ones so come on dear children just cover it cover the whole paper with the black water color okay very good children very good you all are coloring it nicely just color it with the black color got it very good and then as i told you children it's a scratch art so now we are going to scratch the painting to create a beautiful masterpiece so now after this we are going to add different different things we are going to add different details we are going to scratch it and we will make a beautiful shark baby shark we are going to create okay come on but allow it to dry okay my dear children yes and if you want to add a sparkle you can even add glitter color or sparkle to this picture so for that see if you are having gray or a sparkle color you can just give one coat of a sparkling color okay see i can put few spots of a sparkle color if you have glitter color you can do this just put few dots of glitters okay if you have otherwise it's fine okay i'm just going to make one coat with a glitter color understood you can put few dots with the help of a glitter color 
Now children as I told you we are going to scratch the painting to get a beautiful masterpiece to create a beautiful baby shark. But for that you will require this kind of a pencil. Unused pencil okay or without a lead. This pencil is unused. I don't have lead and I'm going to use it as a scratcher. Children if you have that scraper with the help of which you can scratch it. It's fine if you don't have you have to use this kind of a pencil without a lead. Understood? Use this kind of a pencil. And we are going to draw it. Yeah. But children remember you won't be able to use eraser. You won't be able to use any other thing. This is going to be the final drawing. Okay. So you have to be a little careful while drawing. So I hope the painting is dry. Yes, everybody your painting is dry. If not, you can just check it over here. See, yeah, it's dry. Right? See, when we will scratch it, something will like this will look. Okay? So come on everybody. Now be very careful. Make sure that this palm portion doesn't touch the paper. And just draw a circle like this. Come on. Just draw a circle like this. Yes. And we are going to draw a mouth also. Yes. We are going to draw a mouth also. See, you can even clean your pencil. Okay, again and again. Then draw two nostrils. Just two dots. Okay. And then you can draw two eyes as well. Like this and a smiley. Understood? Yay! Very good. We can draw eyes, nostrils and a smiley. Now from here children, come down, go up. Again you can come down, again you can go up. Okay? To make a body and wings of a baby shark. Yes. And over here we can just make a tail of a baby shark. Okay. You can create beautiful designs also like this. And just make baby shark look. Beautiful. Okay. Like this. Come on. We have created tail. We have created eyes. Everything. And our colorful baby shark is getting ready. Isn't it? Wonderful children. Wonderful. You all are doing an amazing job. I am really proud of you all. That everybody is doing awesome, awesome job. Lovely bachas. Lovely. We have created baby shark and you know what we can also make a underwater scene right but yeah if you are still doing this it's okay I'm going to wait for you all just make a cute little baby shark I'll wait for you all okay but just come on we are not in a hurry take your time and do it nicely. I know you all are doing it nicely with the perfection, with the neatness. But yeah children, remember this is the final drawing. We won't be able to erase it. Right? And can you see when we are just scratching the beautiful colors which we have colored are coming out. Isn't it? Yes. So children, this was the reason we have colored the full paper and we have coated it with black color. So that we get a beautiful outcome like this. Isn't it interesting? Yay! Lovely! So this is known as scratch art children. This is a masterpiece which we are going to create. Okay? Now let's move ahead. And over here. We can create few pebbles or few stones. Like this. Okay? Come on. We are going to add pebbles or a stones like this. 
we can just make few dots and inside the water we can create different water plants like this see just create different water plants okay randomly you can just make beautiful plants like this okay come on this are hydrilla children this are the water plants and they can be of any any shape come on color the like make beautiful hydrilla make beautiful stones everything over here at the bottom portion we will create pebbles we will create hydrilla right children very good very good bachas don't make it too clumsy that don't make it too much but draw a little little detailing part okay we are not going to draw all the different sharks but we have drawn one beautiful cute little shark isn't it and we are going to create underwater scene right my dear children let's create underwater scene so inside the water we can see starfish also we can see pebbles hydrilla so children all these things depends upon you how you want to make what you want to make then you have to think and you have to make it look beautiful okay see now over here i am just going to make a starfish okay like this with a smiley so i have drawn a starfish then i am going to draw water waves yes inside the water there are water waves right so we can just make water waves and we can just add bubbles also so come on children you can just make this starfish you can just tap it also to make it beautiful yes make stipplings over here this is known as stipplings like this got it yeah this is the stipplings we have drawn baby shark we have drawn water bodies we have drawn pebbles we have drawn starfish also and we can even draw bubbles right children it is up to you bachas whatever you feel you can draw it okay very good come on let's make few bubbles also i am just going to make circle circle like this and let's create few bubbles okay yes you can just make few circles like this understood just make few circles like this and the beautiful masterpiece is getting ready we have created baby shark we have created stones or a pebbles we have created starfish also so see the beautiful underwater scene is getting ready right bachas so this is how we have created a beautiful baby shark oh wow fabulous bachas you all did an amazing job super proud of you all we choose fantastic you all did an amazing job komal ma'am is really proud of you all mm wonderful So children I know you all are eagerly waiting to show me your pictures right I know bachas but you all did an amazing job so now what are you going to do hold this amazing picture in your hand ask mama daddy to click good good pictures and please submit it on the portal okay you have to submit your masterpiece on your portal how to submit it for that I'll show you one video just after the session but children 
Komal ma'am is going to check your work. So please, please, please submit your work on time. I'll be waiting. So children, did you all enjoy the class? Everybody, did you enjoy the class? Thumbs up or down? Down? No, 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 no. Up, up, up. Yay. So thank you for joining. And I hope you all have enjoyed being with Komal ma'am. But see you all soon in the last class. Okay. Don't miss the chance and please join me for the last class of this course. So Komal ma'am is going to wait for you all. So it's time to say bye bye to Komal ma'am. But remember, Komal ma'am loves you a lot. Bye bachas. See you all soon and you all did an amazing job. Super proud of you all. Here comes a video for you all. Please have a look. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app 